Hi, my name is Niels and I'm from Germany. My project, optimization of an aircraft wing using a moving surface, is based on the Magnus effect. So, first let me introduce you to the effect. The Magnus effect occurs when a round rotating object is moving through air. Then a force perpendicular to the oncoming air is exerted on the object. This, for example, can be used to create aircrafts like this one that use spinning cylinders as wings. These spinning cylinders, called flatner rotors, can provide enough lift to let the aircraft fly. This is very counterintuitive and led me to the idea to combine both effects. On the one hand, flatner rotors that provide lift for the aircraft, and on the other hand, uh, conventional aircraft wings. This fusion could theoretically be done by having a moving surface, like a conveyor belt, circulating around a traditionally shaped aircraft wing. To test this hypothesis, that such a moving surface could really improve the aerodynamic properties of an aircraft wing, I conducted some computer simulations to get a deeper insight on the effects on the wing. After that, I also built my own wing segment using a conveyor belt as its surface to further verify the computational results. Let's have a look at the model. So, now we're here at experimental setup I've built for the project. We've got the wing segment here with the blue conveyor belt on top and the conveyor belt later on moves around this wing segment. Then we have a water balance that indicates how low the pressure in this area above the wing really is. And last but not least, we've got this leaf blower to act as a wind channel. And now I will show you that this uh, whole setup really works. When you start the leaf blower, the blue liquid rises quickly due to the low pressure created on top of the airfoil. The increase after accelerating the conveyor belt is unfortunately too marginal to observe from this distance. I hope that you will find my project interesting and I'm really looking forward to present more details and results at the Stockholm International Youth Science Seminar. See you soon!